Hey everyone. So, I got a comment recently where someone asked, why don't I have the option for input devices on Discord even though my headset is connected? Well, this issue often ties back to audio drivers, specifically Realtek drivers. In this video, I'll show you how to check which drivers your hardware supports, download them from the official motherboard manufacturer's site, and try a few other methods like reinstalling Discord or even using a third-party app if needed. Let's fix this step by step. Start by opening the control panel on your PC. Go to Hardware and Sound and then click on Sound. In the new window, switch to the Recording tab. Here, you'll see all the microphones connected to your system. Check if your mic is listed. If it is, speak into it and see if the sound levels move. This indicates that your mic is detecting input. If your mic isn't listed or the sound levels aren't moving, there might be an issue with your mic connection or drivers. We'll handle that in the next steps. Step 2. Let's check your system information to find the right audio drivers and press Enter. Look for the baseboard product name. In my case, it's B450 Pro M2 V2, but yours might be different, so make a note of it. Open your browser and search for your motherboard's drivers. For example, I'd type B450 Pro M2 V2 drivers. Click on the official manufacturer's website. It's usually the top result. Navigate to the driver section. Choose your operating system. In my case, it's Windows 10 64-bit. Look for onboard audio driver and download the latest version available. Once downloaded, install the driver, then restart your PC to apply the changes. After restarting, check if the problem is resolved. If not, don't worry. We've got more solutions coming up. Step three. If you're using branded headphones like Razer or any other brand, they might have their own audio drivers. Go to the official website of your headphone brand. Search for the specific model of your headphones and download the appropriate drivers. Install the drivers and restart your PC to see if the issue is fixed. If the problem still persists, try using your headphones on another device, like a mobile phone, laptop, or another PC. This will help confirm if the issue is with the headphones or your system. Step four. If your headphones work on a laptop or mobile but not on your desktop PC, it could mean you're using a different audio jack type. In this case, try using an audio splitter. Plug it in and test your headphones again. This often resolves the issue. However, if your headphones don't work on any device, it's likely they're faulty. Check if they're still under warranty. If yes, you can replace them. If not, it might be time to invest in a new pair. Step five. If your headphones and mic are working fine in the control panel but still don't show as an input option in Discord, this could be a software routing issue. That's where VB Audio Cable comes in. It creates a virtual audio connection to bypass potential Discord-related conflicts. Here's how to set it up. Go to the official VB Audio website and download the VB Audio Cable software. Install the software by following the setup instructions. After installing VB Audio Cable, let's configure it properly. Click on the speaker icon in your system tray and set your default audio output device to the one you're using, like your headphones or speakers. Open Discord, go to settings greater than voice and video, and set the input device to your VB Cable output. If you don't see these options, restart your PC. They should appear after that. Next, go to the control panel, navigate to hardware and sound, sound recording devices, and locate your microphone. Right-click on your microphone and select Properties. Under the Listen tab, enable Listen to this device. From the drop-down menu, choose VB Cable Input. Now, here's how this works. Your mic transmits audio to VB Cable Input, which routes it to VB Cable Output. In Discord, since we've set VB Cable Output as the audio source, your mic audio is now effectively linked to Discord. Test it out in Discord's voice settings to ensure everything is working smoothly. This solution can help if Discord isn't recognizing your mic input, even though it works elsewhere. Test it out and see if it resolves the issue. That's it. I hope one of these steps helped you fix the issue with your input devices on Discord. Whether it was updating drivers, using a splitter, or setting up VB audio cable, there's always a solution to get your mic working again. If this video helped you out, don't forget to leave a like and share it with anyone else facing the same issue. And of course, Hit that subscribe button for more helpful tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.